so I'm Kaylee. I'm currently 19. I'm going to be officially launching my handmade quilting brand on August 15th with my first collection. I taught myself how to sew almost two years ago. During the pandemic, I started selling on Depop. I had an idea to create my own small brand and here I am. Fun. So I sell handmade specialty tank tops that are screen printed with designs that I created. I'll just take you through my process on how I make everything. This is my first time creating a website, creating a drop, all this shit. And I'm so fucking excited. I'm using Big Cartel for my website because obviously it's free. If I expand, uh, when, when I expand, I will transfer to Shopify. I'm buying my domain right now. Um, they didn't have Coloxia because it, it was like 15,000 pounds. Because I'm in the UK currently for a year. That's a whole nother story, but I'm going to go with this. I brought my website domain. It's coloxiathebrand.com. It's like a pound, so that's good for a year. That's insane. So I have had my new screen. Check it out. And every time, as you can see, I get a new screen, I make a new design, I just put it on my wall. Well, it's kind of like a little bit of motivation for what I do. So I'm just going to do test print. Hopefully everything turns out the way that I like it to. And then we're just going to wash out the screen. Okay, that's good. Just on regular paper. And these are the prints. They're so cute. Today is August 1st. My birthday's in three days. The last two days have kind of been like my break, my calm before the storm, because even though I've been making orders, they haven't really been like that stressful today. I gotta drop a couple of orders off at the post office. I gotta go to the fabric store. I should also be getting a shipment in from FedEx. But hopefully it comes in the morning, I'm pretty sure they usually do. And then I'll actually just like get started with dyeing my fabric. Hopefully it'll be done today, one of the colors. We start with pink, and then I'll start making samples tomorrow. Oh, it's like 1.46. My package of fabric has not come yet, but it's, it's supposed to come before six, so hopefully it comes. My boyfriend actually helped me make a spreadsheet on everything. Here's everything. It's just numbers and the startup costs and stuff. And so everything's gonna be from 30 to 45 pounds, which is 35 to 55 US dollars, which I think seems reasonable actually. We're gonna do some unboxing. I got my package. I thought they didn't deliver it, but it went downstairs to the little cafe underneath me. Let's just open this bitch up. This is the black hemp. It's kind of nice. It's the other one I usually use was sold out, but this is way nicer. Granted, it was like a lot more. And then and the rest of the top. There we go. Material girl. Welcome to the bathroom with bad lighting. I have my my fabric. Get in there. My straps. Um, we're using pink, and then it's gonna be screen printed with some red on top. So very cool. Okay, so it's like 5:30. I'm making dinner because I'm a grandma, but also. So far, I'm like in the middle of making the shirt. And we're gonna check up on how the dye is doing. So I've kind of laid out my fabric. It's really, it's really fucking nice, actually. It's gonna look great with the red. Also, here are the straps. They came ivory, so like had a little bit of a yellow undertone, but in person, they're kind of peach, like a little pink, but in the light, they do match. And they do look really nice, so I'm happy about this. So I have five items in my drop. The baby camis the Vendetta top, the Sepia top, and the Kumquat top. Today, I'm just going to be sew both my baby camis today and kind of just film tons of social media stuff because I really need to be grinding on that. Hello, welcome to the kitchen. Weird angle, this is my so-called cutting table. So I need to prep a couple physical things for the launch, like binding, which goes around the necklines and the armholes and my tank tops. And I stick them all on toilet paper rolls like this. And when I dyed this fabric um, last night, it came out a little darker than I honestly expected it to be. So, and I dyed three meters, which will give me between six and eight shirts. So this is what the binding looks like. And I'm cutting out 
four more of these. I just finished screen printing. I'm gonna show you what a couple of the shirts look like. This is the baby tee, if you can't see it. Ugh. And I have this top, the kumquat, and then this is also the second baby cami. Yeah, so I'm just gonna probably end up making a couple baby camis today and then just pushing out a little more content. And I'm so excited. I posted to my story and I was like, it's insane when it's like you made something, you've had it in your head for so long, and then it comes to life, and you're like, fucking God. Okay, so I'm just gonna check on my red fabric, because I think it is ready, and it is. We have a reveal! First off, I dyed the straps and the elastic. Now the elastic, it's like a weird pink, and the straps, they're pink. They also don't really match it's pushing it a little bit now that I'm looking at it I originally was gonna screen print black onto this which I will for one of the shirts but I think it's light enough that something like this on top of this would show up honestly that's really exciting to me so I'm just gonna do a red shirt and then I'm gonna do a red and black shirt I have heat gloves because I don't want to burn myself 16 15 14 here we go Okay, finished the first shirt. Um, my cover stitch machine has really been acting up. I think it's just how I dyed the fabric. I think I added a little too much detergent, which made it a little rougher. So I really need to figure that out. But it's so cute. This is the tank top. These are my tits. Um, yeah. This is Jennifer. She occasionally focus. She wears my tops too. Perfect. It's nice because she has a little boobage. And that helps with the shirt. I'm also eating a bag of chips right now because I'm ravenous. Update, I am struggling right now. My machine is not cooperating with me. As you can see, like, it looks like shit. It's very cute, but um, right now it's just like, look, if I just kind of go it's not moving through it's just staying in the one same spot and i'm really struggling on how to work the whole binding they can't find anything online and i have to drop this in 10 days i don't really know what the fuck to do um i'm gonna clean up my feed dogs i read the manual and it didn't tell me shit so <laughs> that's one of those situations where i need to figure it the fuck out it's the afternoon now i just finished my two tank tops the fabric is when I dyed it, I think I used the wrong detergent, so I made it like really tough to get through my machine. I only can make around maybe four to six more, so I think I might take the loss, and then when I do get orders for them, just kind of tough it out. But I ended up cutting and um, screen printing everything, so I'm done with the screen printing process. As you can see, they look really good. I'm sewing my binding right now with the different fabric and it's going through like butter so when i tinkered in my machine like, oh it's never been so smooth morning it's like 7 30 august 4th i am officially 20 now it's my birthday but today like historically my birthday you know it's something that's been a little sad but i feel like today will make the best of it i'm gonna try and get two shirts done today because I just have two and a half more shirts. Also, I have an order to ship because I got one last night. The Tosca Bustier. I'm just going to throw in a scrunchie too. And I'll take that to the post office in like an hour and a half when it opens. I'm having my breakfast and I'm just going to update my Depop. I'm still going to use Depop to sell my samples and remnant stuffs and one-offs like faulty items because why not i've been selling consistently on depop now it's starting to pick up a little bit like i've been selling a thing like every day or every other day for the past week now which has been really good i just gotta fix a couple things with this top back is sheer but i gotta fix the straps because i don't like how they go out so much thing is that i just gotta make sure this part's even because it's like slightly uneven which i'm not too crazy about so i just gotta find a way to make it a little more even when I am sewing it. I just finished my final sample of the kumquat top and I just fixed a V in the middle. Oh yeah, there we go. And it looks so much nicer. So I'm gonna fix this with my black and it makes it so much more accurate when I'm sewing. Like before I was kinda like, mm, I like it but I don't love it but now I really fucking love it. 
Good morning. It's 7 30. It's a beautiful day. I am in Colope Sia currently and I am doing a little photo shoot product photo. As you can see I moved the TV because I found this like cute nook in between that has good lighting. This is my setup. I don't know how to take pictures so I like to look at myself in the mirror and then pose so it's nicer. I'm picking my photos and I'm also eating birthday cake for breakfast. Jump blows, yeah, I got the jump blows, yeah. So it's like six. It's really pretty outside. Also, I'm just watching YouTube and I'm making scrunchies. And I'm gonna put them in this like basket that I usually put my socks in, but I have no other place to put them for the moment. Now is inventory time since everything else is basically done. I want to pre make my straps and figure out how much of each thing, approximately how many shirts I can make in total for my drop because I don't want to kind of repeat and having to order the same amount of fabric just to dye it again. Basically, I am just going to take, I'd say large is good because it's kind of bigger than I need to. And just kind of, I would guesstimate how many of these fit for the rest of the fabric that I have. I'm thinking four to six. And then I will write that down in my little red book. And then I'm gonna do that with the rest of the fabric, and then I'll come back with how many shirts I have in total. Down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. Okay, so we're back. I've worked it out to five baby camis, six vendettas, six sepias. It's the same colors, so interchangeable. And my kumquat tops, they only come in black, so four at most. And I will have a ton of scraps, so I will also be using the scraps. I sew them together, I'll pop up a picture, and I just make remnant tops. I use most of my fabric, almost zero waste. I get a little extra bang for my buck. And that means I have 21 shirts in stock. This drop. Rise and shine! I'm kidding. Today is Thursday. I just woke up. It's like 8 a.m. because I slept in. Yes, Annie, I'm sleeping in for me. And so yesterday, and it feels like I did nothing yesterday. So I'm refreshed today, and I'm just gonna show you the website that I finished yesterday. This is the home page. There I am. There's a strawberry I took a picture of. And then here you just can click. And then um, shop. Ooh, all my products are at. Oh, it looks so good. FAQs, um, policies, no returns, but you can have refunds, size guide, I took out the size guide here, and oh, I photoshopped this earlier, it looks so good, um, about, just a little bit about me, and another cool photoshopped image, and this is where the cool stuff is. So I can only do one photo because um, Big Cartel is the free version. So this is kind of like my gallery. And I did like a collage. Like it looks really cool. So you can see it from all angles like this. Mm, it looks so good. I am so excited. It's motherfucking launch day. I like to call it a realistic launch because like I've literally started everything from scratch. I taught myself how to sew, pattern, grade. I'm gonna be honest, like I don't really know that much about social media I'm posting. I just started posting like a month ago. Like, but I don't compare myself to other people. I compare myself to who I was yesterday, how I was last month. I am proud of where I've come, but that being said, <laughs> that's why I said this is a realistic launch because I don't know if I'm gonna get one sale today, depending on like how much I post and everything. I'm gonna try to make business vlogs every week as my brand grows. I just launched my shop, oh my god. It's 12.30, I have 28 views on my website, no sales yet. I'm hoping to get one by tonight, but I'm not sure. And I'm gonna be honest, even if I don't get one today, it was still a momentous day in Colopsia history because I launched my first official website. It's currently 10.30 right now. I just checked the website. 130 people have visited my website today, but no orders, unfortunately. However, I'm not down about it. I am just, like, proud of myself. However, I still feel desperate. Like, you watch all these other launch day vlogs and there's thousands they sell thousands of orders they sell it on launch day and i will get there one day like i know it and i'm working towards that i took time today to analyze all my content see where i'm going wrong why am i not getting 
the reach that I want and I kind of came up with a little bit of a plan so that I can hype up and hopefully sell more in the next coming few days so thank you for watching